Twilight in the Triangle, you can find uh, local vendors, uh, music. We'll have sidewalk sales. We'll also have food and drink vendors. And then extended hours from our brick and mortar stores who have been here for years. Our goal is to bring the community together, have a safe, fun place for families to come with their kids. I hope to see the people who have been coming to our Triangle for years for shopping and for eating to come back and have a good time. And I'm also looking forward to meeting the new shoppers who've never been here before. We would like to expand our awareness of our shops and uh, let people know about the 24 different fantastic locally owned businesses that we have in the area. If you don't support local, we won't be here long. Art Gallery has been open for about two years. We're actually going into our third year. We have uh, paintings and we also have sell prints. We have sculptures and gift items. And uh, the art that we have, we actually uh, have the artists who have been juried into Woodland Art Fair, St. James, and Kentucky Craft. Uh, and that's how, we, how I uh, contact most of the artists here. And uh, we're also part of the Lex Hop. So uh, what we do for that, for the Gallery Hop, is we change out our art and feature a new artist uh, every other month. I owned a previous business in this location, and uh, once the economy sank, uh, you know, a lot of small businesses went under, and the, uh, I sold art in that business as well. It was a boutique. I sold clothing, art, and jewelry, and um, so uh, we had to, to close because of the downturn in the economy, and then after the uptick and, and things started doing better, then it seems like a lot of the uh, artists just kind of started coming out of the woodwork. They were more available, and so uh, knowing that, I was able to uh, uh, start my dream of owning an art gallery. I uh, started my business, as I, as I mentioned, in 2015 when I decided to get, get back in the, the uh, small business sector. Um, and the way I got into art is uh, I've had the good fortune of getting to travel uh, fairly extensively in Europe. Uh, my husband and I lived in France for six months, and so I've been able to see some of the best art in the world. So I think that that really helped pique my interest in art, and it also has helped me in selecting uh, really nice art for the gallery. Uh, and in saying that, I don't mean to, to say that we have really, really expensive art here. We have small treasures up to significant pieces of art. And one of the th biggest thrills that I had was when my uh, grandnephew, who is a college student, came in here and bought his first piece of art for his apartment. When you talk about owning a business, location, location is everything, and that was part of why we, we uh, became involved in, in this area. But, uh, you know, we get a lot of drive-by traffic, we get a lot of tra foot traffic, we have a real high walkability index, but, um, you know, the, the Twilight Market, that has allowed us to have just a whole lot more activity uh, going on in this area that expands it into the evening hours. You know, we get a lot more people down here. Uh, we do uh, end up having a band, you know, a DJ, sometimes uh, a band, um, and just the whole energy in the in the area is more like a festival, or a, or a, uh, it's just it's just a lot more more festive. We get a lot more vendors. We have uh, arts and crafts vendors out and artisans. So it's just a really fun uh, way for people to get more exposure to our our local businesses. If somebody comes in here and they buy a piece of art, and then the artist goes out and, and spends that money, or their money, on a, um, like at a uh, food market, a farmer's market, then that is like a synergistic effect and it's giving back to the community. Mm -hmm.